Hey folks, Father Sampati from CG Virus here. Today we're going to show you how to make alpha clips and uh, a basic uh, introduction to subsurface scattering. How to do that in EV Blender EV? Okay, so the first thing is this is a pretty much basic standard uh, plane. It is UV unwrapped. Here you can see we have imported our transparent uh, PNG texture here and we have already assigned it uh, with UV assigned it in our base color in principle BSDF okay and uh, you can see that uh, the alpha is not correct so we're going to work with it so first of all <laughs> uh, above everything turn off this preview this one is crashy this one doesn't work and I don't need this thing so yeah let's turn it off then start working so let's save it um, the first thing is we need alpha so how can we do that so let's go to the principle and let's go to the shift a and uh, in shadow editor uh, shift a and uh, transparent BSDF so we will need this we will need a mix shadow let's connect it here let's connect transparent and here you can see that uh, as it's a PNG file and it has alpha so there is an alpha channel so what we need to do here is basically connect this alpha channel to the factor okay so we should see the alpha but we are not seeing that so what to do here is basically go to your material okay and go to this set of options there you will see lots of important settings first one is blend mode so this is actually right now this is opaque so what we need to do is basically go to the alpha clip okay now you can see your alpha clip here okay so what we need to do here is basically yeah uh, is basically mm, uh, swap this setup okay let's swap it and here we go so this is one seven all right so everything is fine but we are not seeing any kind of shadow so what to do with it is basically go to the transparent shadow in the option panel and check clip now you will see your clipped shadow yeah there is also another one that is called opaque opaque means a, a whole plane and uh, clip is this one and there is also hashed I don't know um, this one is some somehow low resolution but I am not sure what does it do so here we go so I'm going to use clip okay this one is good let's save it so first thing first is done okay hmm now uh, before going to the subsurface I want to uh, you know make this thing somewhat pretty so I'm coming back all right so uh, what I have done uh, you know the, the basic stuffs but uh, <laughs> uh, it is not a leaf I'm just uh, you know just giving it some beauty so uh, you know uh, I have just copied the albedo here uh, used a color ramp just plugged in uh, roughness also I have used this color on uh, this albedo just use some color ramp just bump it a little bit with a uh, little bit of strength little bit distance and plug it in normal so that is how it's looking uh, though it's pretty bad but you know it works so you know, just to just to demonstrate things so yeah mm. now let's talk about the subsurface okay so there is a channel called subsurface and uh, if I'm going to turn it on subsurface one you can see the pure white there is nothing else so what we need to do is basically we need some color obviously you can do it in uh, editor or whatever but I'm just uh, going for some albedo and just plug it in the subsurface just for now you know so right now it should uh, show us the subsurface but it is not because in the render property first you have to enable the subsurface scattering okay subsurface scattering now it should uh, transfer the subsurface but 
the subsurface is basically a material specific property so what we need to do here is basically screen space subsurface scattering so we need to enable this guy now you can see your subsurface everywhere also we will need translucency so i'm just turn it on subsurface translucency okay so now you can see that uh, we have the bump map and everything but the diffuse is somehow covered with subsurface you can see here okay so what we have to do here is basically go to this render property go to the subsurface scattering and here you should separate the albedo now we have the subsurface here you can see and also we have our albedo separated so pretty good so let's go to the subsurface radius and you can see the standard is 1.2 and 0.1 so we can increase it decrease it I'm selecting everything at all uh, you know at once and then just drag it to you know just to modify the things so I think this one is the top layer this one is the mid layer and this one is the uh, bottom layer so three layers of scattering which is good so how to check the translucency so let's go to the shift a and create a UV sphere let's scale down a little bit and press G to uh, you know go there so now you should see the translucency here okay you can see the shadow yeah we can uh, have it a little bit so yeah so now we can see the shadow here okay let's see there you go so now you can see the shadow okay so yeah so that's how you can create your subsurface one thing i have forgotten that um, um, the clipping the clipping uh, alpha clipping so in alpha clipping um, if your alpha doesn't have any pre-multiplied alpha uh, you will get some kind of hinge some kind of uh, white hinge so here you can do the clipping threshold so this 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 works for you know post multiplication Applic uh, application so you know you can do it like that so this is the post multiplication post multiply alpha multiply so you can do some 0.5 uh, is pretty much a standard so it will uh, crop it crop it up a little bit so uh, you know you will get the fresh alpha and also uh, if it's not enough you can do it with a color ramp color ramp and plug it uh, plug it between alpha and the factor so yeah there we go and then uh, what you can do is basically you know increase or decrease the channel so you know the basic post multiply and pre multiply applications so yeah that's how you can create your thing uh, quite obviously this one is <laughs> not the not a great example but uh, you know you got the idea so the main uh, function main target was you know the subsurface and uh, the alpha clipping so yeah that's it so mm, what you need to do is basically you know these things all right alpha clip clip subsurface these two check this uh, subsurface scattering check this and for some uh, you know reflection good reflection you can use a screen space as well I mean, equation, um, whatever yeah so that's it that's how you can work with it uh, yeah so i'm father sympathetic from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye